or welcome back to my channel. Thank you very much for clicking on this video. Thank you very much for taking time to watch me. Do do do. Yes. I wasn't gonna record today. Um, well, I was gonna record, but then I had to go out early. And I thought let me just you know put a little bit of concealer and whatnot on because the skin is not looking too bad. And I ended up going on full on glam. My hands are dry. And I was thinking, okay, it wasn't supposed to go that way, but. I still want to record today. So I literally cleaned everything off. I used my cleansing butter. It was the Elmer's Superfood one. So basically I want to play a bit of makeup and um, just do a look for you guys because I haven't actually done, apart from when I reviewed the Beauty Bay Berries palette, I've done a pink brown moment. I'm looking to do like a, a tealy, bluey situation so we're gonna do like, have like a teal moment i'm gonna be playing with three palettes from beauty bay and they're all kind of around the same color story the first one i have is the midnight's palette um by beauty bay i said i was actually gonna review this so i don't think i need to review it because there's been a lot of reviews and i'm, I'm late to the party as per usual i will see if i can use any of these colors to create my look today so those are the colors in this palette i'm not quite sure if it's where i want to go i'm also going to use this color here it's like a pale blue if you hear a whistling sound like it's me down window it's so windy outside i'm not quite sure what's going on but it's very annoying i've tried to close the window so annoying the second palette age of opulence palette so i haven't used this on my channel as well it's a stunning stunning palette as you can see i haven't actually used it i might dip into these colors as well because it's got the kind of teal well this one in particular it's got a teal that i really want to use it looks lighter on camera but it's quite deep i might delve into the neutrals here to kind of create a nice outer corner you'll see you'll get the gist in a minute and a third palette that i may go into which is an oldie but goodie is the i keep getting this wrong the book of oh the book of magic palette i've reviewed this um palette on my channel before it came out in 2020 so it's like two years old and these are the colors so it has the colors that i'm thinking that i may want to use but i may be able to mix in with the other colors from the other palettes the reason why i actually bought these three palettes because they're kind of like almost the same story so the colors that i'm looking to get from these palettes again are like the tealy kind of like blue colors happy that this one's got black to my subscribers welcome back to my new has just joined welcome to the family yes welcome to the family i hope you stick around i hope you like what you see in this video at the end don't forget to subscribe don't forget to hit the thumbs up and also comment down below if you enjoyed this video i'm going to prime my lids because i'm not really going anywhere to because I'm not really going anywhere today, I'm not going to use my Urban Decay eye primer situation. I don't need it to be long lasting, so we're going to keep it cute and just go on with our P. Louise base. So the base colours that I'm using today are Rumour 02 and 08. I kind of mix the two because it kind of gives me the colour that I want. Even though I do have the other colours in between, I'm just a bit extra with it. So we're primed. I'm actually nervous. <laughs> For the outer part, let me actually try it. I did say I was only going to use Beauty Bay palettes, but I'm very tempted to go into another palette to kind of get a nice transition. So let me see. There's a colour in the Book of Magic palette that I may be able to use, but I'm not sure, which is this one here. And it's called Amulet. I did use it on a previous video, but I don't think it was quite deep enough for me. See if I can use this as a brow bone transition color. Okay, it's nice for the brow bone, but it's not giving me the depth that I want. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this down. I hope you can see what I'm doing. This is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe um, Volume 2 palette, and I'm gonna grab the shade G Money, which is this one here. It's a very nice, kind of like caramel transition color. It just works. So, with that first color laid down, it should be easy just to kind of like blend this in. So, we have got that color down. I'm gonna go into the browns. I'm really scared that I've actually committed to using just these Beauty Bay palettes. Not that it doesn't have what I want, but it's not giving what I need. I think I'm gonna go into the Age of Opulence palette and I'm gonna go into the shade called Prohibition. And let's see how deep that is. So hopefully, hmm, it's giving, but it could be better. I really don't wanna go to another palette because I did say I was going to focus on these Beauty Bay palettes, but. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay this color down and I'm actually gonna go into other palettes. I'm gonna go into my Anastasia Soft Glam palette and we're gonna grab the shade Cypress Umber. Hopefully that's deep enough. 
So I think we have the depth that we want. Obviously, I may deepen this with a black. So I'm gonna use P. Louise. I still haven't decided which blue I wanna use. I'm not cutting my crease with this base. It's just that it's not gonna be a precise, like, structured cut crease. Hence, hence why I'm using this brush. You see when it's not a cut crease, it's just so easy to like do that you almost kind of like get it even. So we have that down. Now it's a choice of the bloach, the drama. I may go into this one from the Age of Prince palette, which is called Hope, but I think I might leave that for the outer part to blend in with the deeper part of my eye. I'm thinking of going into this color here called Bewitched and probably mix it in with Elixir which is this one here, is like a pale blue, there you go. A mix of two to achieve the colour that I want, which is so funny how <laughs> I'm using the oldest palette to do this look, as in the main part of this look, but it's cool. So this is what it looks like on the brush. So I'm gonna start right in the middle. However deep this shade wants to go, it will be more towards the centre and not the inner corner. I want it to be kind of like, oh, that's nice. Can you guys see that? The teal and the blue is really mixing really nicely. I'm really enjoying this. I think this is a very nice kind of like spring kind of eye look. And with this look, you could probably vamp it up with like a red lip if you wanted to, like a deep red lip. So now we're gonna go into this color here called Wish. And this is gonna go in the set in the inner corner. But I am gonna mix it with Bewitch just to kind of like tone it down. But I'll put it on first and see how it goes. Ooh, okay, you see that it's a bit brighter. So I'm definitely gonna mix it. Mm, it's not bad. Maybe mix elixir with that colour. Okay, I think that's a bit better. It's a bit calm now. Because it's almost pastel -y. pastel -y. So I'm mixing elixir and wish. So I'm going to go back into the round. I'm going to blend that into the blue to kind of make it like a seamless blend. I did say I was going to use this colour here called Hope to kind of be in between the brown. So I think I'm going to do that now. Beautiful. I want to go back into the Anastasia Beverly Hills stuff, stuff, soft glam palette. Back into that shade Cypress Umber or Cypress Umber. And now I'm going to go into a black. So this is the Midnight palette, the most recent one. And I'm going to go into this black here, Hex. I'm going to use that same brush that I used to grab that Cypress Umber from the soft glam palette. I'm going to focus it just at the bottom. I'm not going to bring it too high, even though it looks like I've done it already. I just want to keep it low. So what I'm doing now is I'm bringing it out, so it's almost giving me this. Oh, my head's hurting, this thing is too tight. So I'm gonna go back into the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm gonna go back again into G Money, and just kind of like bring her back in to kind of clean up any mishaps we may have had. Where we've gone a bit too far, it will kind of clean that up a bit. Okay guys, so this is the eye look. What do we think? I know it's not done yet. It's a vibe. I'm gonna go ahead and do my face. I don't know if I should do my face on camera or do off camera and be like, bam, in your face. Let me just go off camera, do my face and come back with you guys for the finished look and we can just wrap up this video. Deal? Hi guys, so I am back with the finished look. What do we think? I love this pop of colour, especially on dark skin. I think on any skin it's absolutely beautiful, but it's just a nice, it's just a nice moment. I didn't want to do too much with the under eye, that's why I kept it strictly black and I went a bit of mascara. But yes, is this face giving? Is this look giving? Is this like, oh, that colour is beautiful love it absolutely love it so guys this is the end of the video i hope you enjoyed me creating this kind of like teal blue moment let me know in the comment section below what you think i'm thinking next time i'm gonna do like a nice kind of like purple lilac situation i mean it's it sounds basic but when you actually put it together it actually looks so stunning i just think this pop of color is just really nice as we're in spring right now and then going into summer all these like colorful looks are gonna like it's gonna make sense. Do you know what I mean? It's gonna make sense. I think I've actually done something similar, but I think I did it all over the eyes. What I'll do is I'll pop a card up 
of that video. I think it was a HMB Cosmetics video. I kind of reined it in slightly with the dark outer V. So that is kind of like wearable or maybe like date night or a night out with your friends or your girlfriends. Be ready for more pops of color. But anyway guys, Thank you very much and as I mentioned don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you have not already and I shall see y'all in my next video. Toodles! I really, 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 really like it.